guys, Midwest Picker here. This is a sourcing video. I went down uh, to Fort Wayne, Indiana to have Thanksgiving with the family. Um, the next day was Friday, Black Friday. We don't really do Black Friday um, sales and purchases, but we do like to go thrifting. So we, we hit two big thrift stores. One was the Dominicans. I'm going to mess up the name. Maybe I'll research it and put it up here. Dominicans thrift store very high-end very nice very good stuff there I got some really good finds there then we went to a Salvation Army got a couple of items there um, we were gonna go to a restore but they were closed uh, but before I get into that and show you those clips I want to show you a clip I'm gonna make a little video of this green lamp right back here all right, this is the lamp that you can see behind me. This is, I don't know if you call it a poker lamp or what you call it, but I got this from my dad. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got what we call like shellac. It's really thick on here, but you got the deck of cards, the royal flush, a stack of poker chips, and then the, the lamp itself is poker chips. This is commercially made. I don't know if they make a whole lot of them. It's got a little green bulb in it. I just thought it was kind of cool. It's been sitting in my garage for years, and I thought, you know what, now that i got an office, I'm going to put it in here because you know, the wife won't allow me to have it anywhere else, of course, because it's you know, a, kind of a gaudy poker lamp, but it's perfect for the man cave, so it's going in here. Well, that's the lamp video. Pretty cool. Um, I'm not always going to have it on. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. It, does that green glow bother you or is it pretty cool? I don't know. I think I'm going to turn it off for the other videos. So coming up next are some clips of, of the family. I don't have a GoPro yet, so I don't have a lot of video. I didn't take a lot. I can only use my phone, which is kind of hard to do. But here's some quick clips. We're on our way to go thrifting. I'll edit this part out because this Cassie's in it. <laughs> Where's your mom? She's going to freak. Yeah, she is. <laughs> da, da, da. There we go. We got one car, two cars today going thrifting. And this is our car. I don't know where everybody went. Turn the heat on. It's cold in here. Yeah. Okay. Wait for Grandma and Grandpa. All right, here comes Grandma bailing. A little red riding hood coat. And then Grandpa's coming. He's going to take up the rear, lock up the house. We've got Sister Michelle, my niece Cassie, and Alexandra. We're going to hit uh, a restore. Um, a Salvation Army and the Franciscan Thrift Store. It's going to be a good day. Blue tags. Blue tags are on sale. Still not bad though. Place is humongous. I do need a lampshade. I bought a lamp from the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel. Oh. And it doesn't have a lampshade. So, like one of those Tiffany ones with the colored oh, glass. Yeah, yeah, Something yeah. like, kind of like that, but rounder. Um, I'm always looking for something like that. That's interesting. That's different. So my sister scored a Hillary and Bach plate. Two dollars. <laughs> yeah, and I walked right by it. Sweet. Hey ladies, look what I bought. Wow. Cast aluminum, Queen of Hearts. Mm -hmm. It's like a pot holder. Oh, okay, cool. You want to pose with it? Mm -hmm. So what do you think I can sell that for? Twenty-four ninety-five. I think so. 
I'd say so. 35. About 35. I like that. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Queen of Hearts. Something. Heart. <laughs> Something. I think it's a heart. Yeah. Could oh, be wait. A, no, it's not. It's, it's a spade. spade. <laughs> I'm such a moron. That was a test, and you failed the test. I failed. Heart no, you're right. It's Queen of Spades. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's even got the black paint right there. Mm -hmm. All right. What a cool. Steal. What a steal. But your sister beat me to the uh, the good deal. What? A Villery and Bach plate. I walked right past it. My mother, not my crew sister. Your mother. My mother. Your my sister. sister. She is an ugly one. Did you lose control? Uh, Did you lose control? I'm gonna get out of the car. No, I didn't lose control. Oh, what is she So that was it. We had a really good time. My family and I, we have so much fun. Um, we rarely go out in public like that together, and when we do, it's pretty wild and crazy. We also went out to lunch at uh, Cracker Barrel. I think it was a quick clip of those rocking chairs that are for sale. They're kind of pricey, but I bet they're pretty high quality. So this is the... Uh, I looked this up. You saw this in the video. Um, this is a trivet. And thanks to Vintage Diggs, sorry sir, I don't know your name, but Vintage Diggs uh, researched this and found it on Etsy, and it sold for $22, I believe, and I looked on Google, and it's pronounced Trivet, I don't know, call it what you want, but T-R-I-V-E-T, -E um, basically it's a hot plate, but it's fancier, um, not a lot of them out there, um, but that's it, so now that I know what it is, I can do a little more research. Maybe I'll find it on Terrapeak now. I doubt it, but I'm probably going to list this. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to go $34.95 plus shipping on top and just let it ride. Maybe it'll sell in Q4 as a Christmas item. Who knows? I just spilled my Dr. Pepper. Um, in the previous video, I showed you this plush. My wife found this. It's an ET plush. We paid 2 bucks for it. Um, very good condition. It's got some issues here and the eye scratched up, but... Um, you know, people pay good money for these. Um, because of the condition issues, I'm probably going to list it about $32.95 plus shipping on top and just let it ride. I'll probably take a best offer lower than that. If it were more perfect, I could uh, probably demand up to 40 bucks for this. Then I found these vintage uh, Christmas bulbs. Um, it says made in West Germany, so that, that dates it really well. Um, probably pre-1983 two something like that um, made by Sears not a lot of comps on these but vintage bulbs this is the time of year to sell these if you're gonna sell them um, yeah I don't know, really know how to price these you, you definitely have to pack them well so they don't break because they're glass um, so who knows um, uh, 1895 1995 something like that I think it was the Salvation Army where I found these uh, four for 299 these are Starbucks coffee mugs. It's got a little bit of gold trim on the bottom. They do need to be cleaned up all the bottoms. The original sticker I guess was big. I don't know what it was but there's a lot of glue from stickers. That sticker glue will come off really easy with isopropyl alcohol and just a little bit of elbow grease. Rub on it really hard or soak it and then rub it. Comes right off. The alcohol will not damage the paint. Um, it also will remove Sharpie marker too if you have a problem with that. So anyways, anything Starbucks will sell. doesn't mean it'll sell for a whole lot of money, but it will sell. So I got four of these for $2.99, which is a really good deal. So I have not looked up the comps on this. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to list these for, but I'll put maybe two and two or all four. I'm thinking two and two. So I'll do a lot of two, two available probably 1995 with shipping on top. The last item is this very large Noritake, I guess this is a serving dish, 
or a bowl. Basically what I do is I, I look at the stamp and then I look up comparables on eBay until I find the exact same one because other eBay sellers that have like 30,000 feedback and 80,000 feedback that list this exact same thing they know what they're talking about so I'll just look at their listing and I'll just sell similar and just make sure everything's accurate um, as far as country and size and all that but it's pretty deep and it's pretty big with Noritake, the larger the item, the more it's worth. So no idea what I'm going to list, list this one for either. But this was a nice find. It was two for $1.99. So whatever was included with this was missing on the shelf. I couldn't find it. So I basically bought this for $1.99. And these are crazy depending on the, on the year. This is not super vintage, uh, maybe 1970s. But these can go for a whole lot of money because they're so big. And then just a little promo. I got three of these plates. These are really cool. I picked these up a couple months back. These are nice square plates. I'll be putting these in my eBay store if anybody's interested in these for a Christmas present. Um, the brand is Fifth. I don't know, but that's the back. Really high quality, really neat. Um, butterflies on there. Um, so that'll be going up in the eBay store soon. So that's it guys, just a real quick haul video. Um, I'll get a GoPro as soon as I can, but I'm living in Michigan, which is like the North Pole. So as far as garage sales, yard sales, outdoor auctions, that's over. There are the occasional estate sales, which I'll try to go to, um, but that's pretty much it. I got my death pile. My daughter Amber gave me a box of stuff, so that's in the death pile. I got to get that listed. Got other things too, some tools and parts and nails and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you got thrift stores, but you know look in the if you live in a cold weather state There's also church sales uh, Rummage sales that are indoors the occasional indoor flea market not very often um, But that's it if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below comment any questions Did I miss anything? Did I say something wrong? Let me know um, I also linked down below my how-to videos so those are easier to find how to ship and how to resource and how to list for the first time. I have affiliate links. But that's it guys. It's dinner time. I gotta go eat. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.